I'm a bit sick this week, so my voice might sound a bit croaky or a bit blocky, but uh, I'm gonna power through because I'm a trooper. But that's why it might sound weird. Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. <laughs> It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> Dazed and Confused is one of my all-time favorite movies. It's a big ensemble hangout comedy about a bunch of kids drinking beer, smoking weed, and getting into trouble. It's full of lovable characters, quotable dialogue, and hilarious situations. It perfectly captures the feeling of being young and free without a care in the world. It's a snapshot of 70s youth, and it has a soundtrack full of 70s rock and roll hits to match. This movie is full of awesome needle drops. Richard Linklater doesn't just write great scenes with sharp characterization and dialogue that rings true, he also picks the perfect song to pair them with. Linklater has always been a musically minded filmmaker. He filled School of Rock with hit tracks from its titular genre, he introduced audiences to the Beatles' Black Album in Boyhood, and he's currently working on a film adaptation of Merrily We Roll Along that isn't scheduled to finish shooting until 2039. Dazed and Confused was his first really great soundtrack, where he had a hefty studio music budget to license whatever songs he wanted, no matter how expensive. Although the studio tried like hell to get him to spend less of their millions on music licensing. The Dazed and Confused soundtrack is basically the world's greatest 70s rock playlist, with songs by Alice Cooper, Aerosmith, Black Sabbath, Deep Purple, Leonard Skinner, Kiss, basically the biggest, baddest bands of that era. I'm not going to cover all the best songs in the film, because I'd have to talk about damn near all of them, so I'll narrow it down to which songs pair the best with the scenes they're in. The closest thing that Dazed and Confused has to a plot is that all the main characters want to secure tickets for a big Aerosmith concert over the summer, so it's appropriate that the movie opens with one of Aerosmith's greatest songs. The breezy, psychedelic tune of Sweet Emotion establishes the laid-back, easy-going tone of the movie. The opening guitar solo of Alice Cooper's School's Out kicks in as Miss Stroud's students file out of her classroom and she warns them about being inundated with all this American bicentennial 4th of July brouhaha over the summer. Don't forget what you're celebrating, and that's the fact that a bunch of slave-owning, aristocratic white males didn't want to pay their taxes. Yeah! Oh, For a montage of kids leaving school for the summer break, School's Out was a no-brainer. Arguably, this Dazed and Confused montage is a better music video for School's Out than the official one. Not only is War's Why Can't We Be Friends a beloved classic, there's an ironic bite to its use in Days to Confused. The song plays as the senior girls haze the freshman girls as a kind of initiation ritual. As Darla and the other seniors terrorize the freshmen by covering them in glitter and condiments, the soundtrack begs a very simple question. Why can't the seniors and the freshmen just learn to get along and be friends? After Mitch's older sister tells the seniors to go easy on him, they decide to get him worse than all the other freshmen. The guys wait outside the baseball field where Mitch is pitching and then grab him on his way out. Alice Cooper's No More Mr. Nice Guy bursts onto the soundtrack as Mitch is bent over the hood of a car and mercilessly paddled on the arse. This is another song choice with some hilarious ironic bite. Benny and O'Banion and all these other Neanderthalic psychos are the furthest thing from nice guys. Here comes the story of Hurricane. The mighty authorities came to play for something that he never done. Put in a prison cell for 
Bob Dylan's Hurricane plays as Waterson, Pink and Mitch walk into the Emporium in slow motion. A slow motion walk is always a cool image, and the catchy folk rock beat of the Dylan hit provides a great backing track, but it also has a deeper meaning. Dylan wrote the song to spread the story of middleweight boxer Reuben Carter, who was wrongly convicted of murders that happened in a similar pool hall in Patterson, New Jersey. The use of this song hints at the civil unrest taking place in the backdrop of the movie. For the most part, Dazed and Confused is nostalgic for the simpler times of the 70s. But this ballad of racial injustice is a subtle reminder that it wasn't all roses. Tuesday's Gone by Leonard Skinner kicks in as the beer bust starts winding down, and it's the perfect match for the mood of the scene. The kegs are all tapped out, the sun is coming up, and everyone starts making breakfast plans. Skinner's sobering, melancholic rhythm beautifully encapsulates the bittersweet feeling at the end of a really great night. Foghat's Slow Ride is the last song on the Dazed and Confused soundtrack, and it's the perfect note to end on. When Mitch gets home drunk and high and trying not to act it in front of his mom, he retires to his bedroom, puts on his headphones, and jams out to Slow Ride. This song hammers home the simple but valuable lesson of the movie. Take it easy, man. It reiterates the point of Matthew McConaughey's rousing, climactic, L-I-V-I-N monologue in musical form. Let me tell you this. The older you do get, the more rules you're gonna try to get you to follow. <laughs> you just gotta keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe and click on the little bell, and also seize the day and call your mom and be kind to yourself. 